Well, I was raised on a farm uh, in southern Indiana, in actually in a farming and coal mining area. I uh, got some interest in science from books like Popular Mechanics I subscribed to, which gave me ideas about small projects. I liked to figure out how things worked. Clocks were something I routinely dismantled and tried to put back together. Taking things apart, putting them together, and seeing how they, how they worked. A curiosity about how things worked. As I like to take a clock apart, I like to take a cell apart and to look at the individual components and then try to reconstruct events with, with purified uh, components. It sort of relates to the Feynman philosophy a statement that's often quoted to say, I can't understand anything unless I can build it, recreate it. I thought it was important and complicated enough to understand how to make the RNA uh, to start with. And again, figuring out when to make it and how, and how to make it. So several years I spent measuring absolute rates of total RNA synthesis in cells, mostly in sea urchin embryos. And the sea urchin uh, development is easily monitored under a microscope, and it's very beautiful. I would collect urchins and bring them back, uh, you know, maybe 50 or 100, and bring them back to the laboratory. I did publish some papers related to them, but. I just said there's uh, something more fundamental that I want to look at, and that's uh, the enzyme that copies DNA. There were only a very few labs trying to characterize the enzyme, the eukaryotic enzymes, or in particular the enzymes from animal cells. It was necessary for me to figure out some way to isolate the enzyme. So the, the critical, the breakthrough experiments of of mine were uh, in the early hours of the morning on Valentine's Day, 1969, February the 14th, when I had chromatographically resolved three RNA polymerases. This was my uh, true eureka moment. Well, you know, this was one of those spiritual moments. You just... Uh, have a hard time believing. Uh, it was a uh, uh, sort of spiritual experience for sure. It's been a self-imposed long, hard role to just keep understanding and making discoveries and understanding how, uh, how things work. For, for ultimate success and long-term success in this business, one has to have a, an extreme passion. My family uh, were farmers, although the farm work, you know, was uh, hard, but the ability uh, to be diligent and hardworking was probably the single major attribute uh, leading to my success. I wasn't afraid of hard work. I guess we would say that the trials and tribulations uh, we're worth it. <laughs>